Hi, I'm CJ Garcia and you're watching Storm TV. Good evening everyone and welcome to The Forecast, the pre-game show here on Manchester Storm TV. I'm your match night host Aidan Millen and I'm joined as always by your Storm TV commentators Max Artis and Matty Finnegan. Tonight it is Remembrance Night here in the Storm Shelter where we all come together to remember the fallen of past conflicts. But we also have a match on the ice where the Manchester Storm are going to take on the Belfast Giants. Max, how do you think tonight's going to go? Uh, tonight's going to be tough. Just as tough as the Sheffield game. Belfast come into this one. Five games on the bounce through the league and the cup uh, on wins and they're a tough side. It's going to be a challenge. What are you thinking, Matty? I can only echo those comments. I think it will be a tough one. They've kind of struggled by their comparisons and how well they'd like to do in the league standings. Fifth seems very low for them, but I don't think they'll be there for long and we'll have a big task on our hands tonight. Absolutely. Of course, the Giants have won the last five games that they've played. They had big injury trouble at the start of the season that they've now coming, off, coming out of the back of. So you can certainly see the results picking up for them. But if the Storm are going to win tonight, Max, how are they going to do it? Um, it's going to be through clogging up the neutral zone, being responsible defensively and taking the breaks where they can. We've seen a lot of uh, passes in behind defences and kind of half breakaway chances. And I think that's, that's how Storm are going to have to play. And if you add, Matty? Uh, I think just to, to echo what we're going to talk about a little bit later, I think it all depends on getting in front of the netminder and taking their eyes away. We'll, we'll talk a little bit about the goalies later on, but they've been very good. And uh, I think we'll, we'll be hard pressed to try and stop them from their usual antics. Now going into ones to watch for the Manchester Storm. For myself, I'm going to have Craig Martin coming back to the lineup. He's going to start tonight, breaking up the Triple H line. So it'll be interesting to see how he fares with his line mates. Max? Uh, for me, going on that um, Triple H line that has been broken up, I'm going with Tyler Heinem. He's uh, opened the scoring a couple of times for the Storm, and I think he's going to be doing it again tonight. I think Zach Milton will have a point to prove. If you've been on the socials at all in the past day or two, you will have seen the Juice Boy edit that's been going around. And sadly, Zach lost that one. So whilst he's been buying everyone juice for the past couple of days, he'll also have to put juice, produce sorry, on the ice. And I think he'll do that today. Now going to the ones to watch for the Belfast Giants for myself. Looking at the lineup so far, it's not changed yet, but Jackson Whistle looks like he's going to start for the Giants. I've always been impressed with Jackson when I've seen him. He's obviously been here in the league a long time. It's great to see a Great Britain netminder starting for, for one of the big teams in this league. And I think it's going to be interesting to see how he progresses because obviously Ben Bounds isn't getting any younger. How long is he still going to be playing for GB? We're really going to need, as a GB fan, really going to need Jackson to step up. Max, what are you thinking? Uh, for me, a guy who's been producing for Belfast over the last five games, three goals to assist, and that's Morin. I think he's going to be their danger man. I'll go with Scott Conway. He's usually on the score sheet, and I feel like he might end up doing that again today. But let's all hope here at Storm TV that that isn't the case. Now going into sto uh, score predictions. I predicted on the pod podcast this week, and make sure you do download and listen to the Storm Report if you haven't already, and make sure you look out for next week. But we predicted a high-scoring game. It was a lot of firepower in both of these forward lines, and I'm expecting goals. I'm going to go for a 6-4 victory to the Storm. How about you, Matty? Well, that sounds like a regulation prediction. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to go in overtime, a bit more exciting, a bit more um, high-risk, high-reward action. I'm going to go 5-4 to the Storm in overtime. Max? A little bit more conservative, 4-2, an empty net goal uh, to get that 4-2 victory. So we're all hoping for a storm victory. Let's see if it's going to happen. We hope you have a great night with us. <laughs> 